congratulations. Absolutely, our, our, our great uh, parent and a fantastic senator, uh, Dennis Rodriguez, who I've had the pleasure of working with us in numerous different things over the years, who has also been a great advocate for a number of different things across the community, uh, who has been kind of the catalyst, along with the parent-teacher organization, which is really the, the fuel that has been able to finance uh, this achievement. And so, uh, Mr. Navarro, I have to say, I'm looking at this, uh, I want to build one of my property as well. It's so nicely done. So, you know, 11999 let's stay with that price, okay? That's a pretty good deal. I know you chipped in some money to make that affordable, right? That wasn't cheap. But, you know, in the end, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we look across this community and you look at the school, for example. I'm very, very proud, uh, as you talked about this lease agreement, uh, basically, that allows for this, because I was senator of the legislature in one of the strongest advocates for education, as you find with Dennis Rodriguez as well. As, as a senator, as a legislature, we, we found the funding through the Compact Impact Funds as a, a repayment source, a, a debt service, if you will, payment over many, many years. And this community, Lima Terrace, has been aching for a new school where the kids can simply walk to school. And that's a great opportunity as well. Uh, because a lot of kids who can walk from here to their home are exercising as they're going to and from their school and also creates a better community. So when you kids are walking from this school to your home, that's good for you because it keeps you in better physical condition. It's also one of the reasons that I'm very proud that we cleaned up the uh, League One uh, Park right across the street, which is basically a legal dump before we did the work on it. And you know, I, I, I just kind of went by it and the bus stop was right in front of the school and the park itself needs a fresh coat of paint. So we'll work on that in the coming uh, months, if not the coming years. But this is something that I want to see you kids also be part of, is being looking out for what's happening here in the school. You see how great this thing, look how great this pavilion looks, right? And then you look across this entire school. Everybody works together, just like you saw all these wonderful children who were singing and playing, uh, you know, not just the, uh, the Guam hymn, but of course the song they just did. Every one of you kids can sing the same tune. Every one of you kids have the opportunity to keep kids from graffitiing and tagging this place to make it and keep it beautiful. Every one of you children have an opportunity to get an education in the great school that you're in now because of the teachers and the management and of course the board members who want you to stand on your own two feet. Each one of us want to see you succeed. The reason you have an education, every one of your parents and teachers understand this, is so that you can see these kids become the teachers of tomorrow. As Mrs. Uh, Champion indicated earlier, she taught my son. And this young man here, Ken Chargalov, taught me, and this young lady here taught me as well. Well, we want to see the next generation, you children, be the next teachers. We want you to be the next superintendents. We want you to be the next doctors and lawyers. And it's up to you to get a great education now. Because when your teacher says, sit down, be quiet, learn, listen, and grow, these are the things that make you strong. You could be the next governor of Guam. You could be the next lieutenant governor. You could be the next chief justice. But you've got to get an education. This institution, this pavilion, these schools, the teachers, all they can do is try. You have to do the learning. You're the only one. We can't make you learn. We want you to have a great, successful future. And that's why every one of us are here. And when I said that you were the VIPs that needed to be applauded, the first thing that had to be recognized when I spoke here today, I mean it. Because you children, you are our future. Please, get good grades. That's the only thing you need to do. Everything else, we'll take care of. All right? Thank you very much.